What up, it's Melvin7 here. Today I'm bringing you the first of my transfer series and uh, I'm bringing you a name that probably won't be cropping up too much more in this transfer window and that is Antoine Griezmann. The rumours are just... Oh, they are horrible, man. They, they, they are worse than Pogba last year just because it's on and off all the time and uh, it seems as though it's permanently off for this season maybe not next season but uh yeah like a few hours ago even we were set to sign him a few weeks ago a few months ago but then the media have came across and said that uh, we're no longer interested because of Zlatan Ibrahimovic's injury which doesn't make sense because that was in what February March when Zlatan got injured or I can't even remember was it April I don't know it, <laughs> it was a while ago and uh, they're saying that that is the definitive reason why we are no longer after Antoine Griezmann. We're after an out-and-out -out striker, which, again, it just doesn't make any sense because uh, it's been widely reported. And Mourinho said himself that he's uh, gave Ed Woodward a list of his targets back in March. So surely the media should have known that. Sky sources are absolute aids now. Uh, they, they keep linking us with players that we're just not going to get, like James Rodriguez uh, ages ago. And that was just to drive up betting prices for Sky Bet. Um, well, increase the flurry of bets. And uh, yeah, it seems as though they're, they're misinformed with a lot of stuff these days. They used to be extremely reliable, but now I'd say BBC, Damasio, people like this are uh, far more reliable than Sky sources. But yeah, with the Griezmann thing, he's tweeted out saying I'm more athletical now more than ever. So it, it kind of seems as though, al although we can activate his release clause, when we're going to opt not to until next season, potentially. But uh, I, I don't know, like, it, we should just pay it. Like, what have we really got to lose? Like, even if we are getting another striker, I doubt we're going to be signing Zlatan uh, on an extension. We might. But even if we do, like, what, what's the harm in bringing two more forwards? Zlatan's only going to be here another year, tops, if he is here. Like, absolute max would be two, maximum, because he even said so himself. So what would be the harm? I, I, I don't know, but we'll see who we're going to bring in. There is a lot of panic, and it's kind of stupid since it's the 1st of June. I think the transfer window officially opens today. It might not even be officially open, but uh, yeah, there's a lot of worry because City have been explosive with their signings. They've really, really gone and done their business early. Uh, Bernardo Silva, he's a signing that I'm extremely worried about. Now, of course, United fans wanted him to join United, but I don't really ever think he was really a target. Mourinho mentioned and said um, that he isn't really a target, but any quality players will come at Manchester United or something like that. But City got him done and dusted really, really quick. I think the fee's 45 million, probably with a bunch of add-ons, giving uh, Monaco Love a good add-on. Just look at uh, Anthony Martial. But, yeah, I, I really think he's going to be terrific. Considering who they've replaced him, uh, like who they got rid of and then replaced uh, Bernardo Silva with, other way around. Sorry, they got rid of Jesus Navas and replaced him with Bernardo Silva. That is a massive upgrade. And eventually, I think he'll take David Silva's spot in the team, I suppose. So, yeah, a lot of people are saying how the hell they're going to fit him in. They said that about Kevin De Bruyne and, you know, he's been a success. Like, I, I don't like to be biased. Um, of course, sometimes it's inevitable that you're going to be biased towards your team just because it's your team, you love them, like Manchester United, but in this case, nah, Bernardo Silva, I really think is going to be a top, top player for City, but that doesn't mean that I don't think that we are going to uh, not get top players, I think we will, I'm disappointed that it seems as though we're not getting Griezmann, but there's plenty of other options in the, the window, we're linked to fucking 500 million players every single year, but it seems as though Lukaku, Belotti, Players like that, possibly Morata, although I think he's off to AC Milan, but we'll see what happens. City have obviously also signed or, well, Benfica have confirmed that they've sold him. I don't think Man City themselves have confirmed they've signed him yet, but uh, the goalkeeper Edison, I think he's had 37 apps for uh, Benfica. And it's a new world record for a goalkeeper. I think it's 35 million. Again, there might be some add-ons there, but 35 million up front. Well, 34.7 to be precise. I don't know anything about this keeper and yeah there's a lot of hype around him and uh, I'm sure he can't be any worse than Claudio Bravo was for City so it's probably an upgrade but it, it remains to be seen how good he can be or how good he is right now because they definitely need a keeper for the now rather than the future. They can't afford the kind of risk that we did with De Gea because um, 
<sighs> oh my god, my mind has went completely blank. Was it um, Lindegard? Lindegard, that is right, isn't it? Lindegard? I think so. Who, uh, when, when we first had De Gea, we kind of had him to fall back on. The goalkeeper, I know he wasn't amazing, but um, it, it kind of worked out for us, whereas City, uh, unless they keep Joe Hart, which is kind of unlikely, now they've gone and signed another goalkeeper, um, they don't really have a fullback option, so they kind of need this player to work instantly. There's also reports of Mendy, that was hilarious, when uh, there, there was a, a news article saying that he was in Manchester for a medical for Man City, and then he's posting pictures of him you know, in Paris with his motorbike, like saying, yeah, Manchester looks a bit different these days. Pretty funny, but it seems as though they are going to be targeting him. After Atletico Madrid's ban, they're not after Hernandez. The I think he's a left back as well for Atletico Madrid. So it would make sense that they're going to be getting Mendy. Uh, there's also links for Manchester United for, well, everyone. But uh, Fabinho, the strong links, he would be really, really good. Uh, a, a right back by trade who got converted to a CDM this season. So he's very versatile and it would definitely be someone that could allow Pogba a freer role. Like, I, I do think we need a replacement for Carrick. We've been saying this for fucking years and years. Like, primarily, ever since Alex Ferguson left, we've been saying we need a replacement for Carrick. But yeah, it, they're different styles of players, but someone who can just clean the shit up and allow Pogba to drift forward and Herrera to kind of be right in the middle, that would be a really, really balanced midfield. But whether it happens, we'll see. Fabinho would be a, a player I would really, really want. Um, yeah, it's only, well, I assume the window opened today, so it's only been one day, and uh, there's already been a lot of shit. I will be doing, hopefully, daily uh, videos for the, uh, the well, the transfer window, and um, the, I'll mention a couple of others now, but mainly it was about Griezmann and uh, Manchester City. Manchester City do really look dangerous this window, and it looks as though they're going to get all of their business wrapped up really quickly, like we did last year. And what people forget is... City have got their signings before the window even started, so we, we aren't late with our signings. Like I guarantee we'll still get our signings early or as early as we possibly can, like we did last season. So don't worry, just allow Mourinho to build his team. There was links, of course, with uh, Brozovic, um, the Inter Milan player, and Brozovic. Have... <sighs> Brozovic, my God, Perisic. I, I honestly, I don't know, okay, uh, I'm just going to put that down to tiredness, Brozovic, what the fuck, but yeah, Perisic, um, and yeah, it seems as though that again was getting driven by Sky Sports, and I don't know whether it'll happen, if, if it does, I'll back him of course, but it, it doesn't make a lot of sense, like he's a winger by trade, I know he can play anywhere, he can play on the left, the right, and as a cam, but I don't know, uh, it seems as though the fee that Inter want is a little too high for us. Of course, we've got unlimited funds, but we're, we're not going to be you know, held to ransom unless it's a player that we vitally need, like Pogba, uh, which by the day is really looking like a cheap signing, and it will after a few years. Uh, other notable signings for the Premier League is uh, Begovic completed his £10 million move to uh, Bournemouth. That's a very, very good signing for Bournemouth. Looks as though Jermaine Defoe is set to go to... Bournemouth as well, so they're getting their business wrapped up really, really uh, early. And Darren Fletcher signed on a free for Stoke. I'm not entirely sure why West Brom have let him go. Like He was doing really, really well for them, but their loss is Stoke's gain, I suppose. And uh, off the top of my head, I think Newcastle activated at Sue's close. There's rumours that uh, Pepe Reina has agreed terms and he's flying over for a medical... Off the top of my head, I, I should really have a list. I will have a list for future videos, but uh, I was mainly going to be talking about Griezmann and Manchester City's business today. And um, yeah, I think that's all the main stuff for the Premier League. There's some other stuff for the leagues, but let me know if there's anything you want me to mention that I forgot for uh, tomorrow's episode. But hopefully you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video and yeah, peace.